Hi, sugar. Slim, I can't stand it. We got to tell Joe about us right away. It ain't fair leading him on like this. Look, I don't like it any more than you do, but you couldn't have picked a worse time. I wanted to tell him sooner. You wouldn't let me. You said it would make trouble. Yeah, I know. That's what I wanted to tell you about. You see, the company's finally got wise to themselves, and they're going to give me that promotion. Slim, that's swell. That means you and me, we... Not so fast. It ain't set yet. I'm going up to Pittsburgh tomorrow to see about it. Don't you see? That's why I don't want you to tell Joe. If I get in the jam right now, it's will have a crab the whole thing. All right, Slim. How soon you'll be back? Well, uh, that's hard to say. All depends on what happens up in Pittsburgh. Suppose they keep you there. What'll I do? Now, take it easy. Well, Slim, you can't leave me here alone. You promised me if you ever had a chance to get out of cold time, you'd take me with you. Yeah, I know I did. You know, I've been kind of thinking it over. Maybe it wouldn't work out so good for you. You know, being a company cop ain't what it's cracked up to be. They'll have to keep me hopping all over the state. I don't care about that. You said yourself, if I stay here, I'll just be another worn-out miner's wife. Pinching and starving, trying to raise a lot of squealing kids. I don't want to spend the rest of my life like that. Maybe it wouldn't be like that with Joe. You know, he ain't like the rest of them monkeys. He's smart. He worked hard for you. Most likely do a lot more for you than I could. That doesn't matter now. I know Joe's well. I suppose I used to be in love with him. Slim, you love me, don't you? Yeah, sure. Then take me with you. Please, take me with you. Yeah. 